My name is Anas Mongtala and this is Reconstructing the World. This is my co-host. Yes, very prepared. Today we are at Tre again. And look at this list. Look at this list. So this is the list. This, we are uh, one year into the building process of Tre. And uh, so today I'm going to hold this building to the test. Very YouTube kind of, you know, it's kind of a review of a building that's not built yet. Okay. So I have a list here, Anas. This is the original list of the building. All the things you wanted to do with this building. Okay. And today what we're going to do is very popular it's on a uh, way longer list. It's a, it's a, today it's a, what we're going to do list. is, are you, are you serious? Today what we're going to do is we're going to go through the building and we're going to rate rate from one to four uh, to five stars what is uh what what went you know one to what what how many stars one star to or one four? building one building to five building you're going to rate every building material did one it succeed? to five exactly okay let's okay. go that's going to be fun okay we're now entering and the first thing on us that we talked ex ex extensive about is the uh, cladding. Should I rate something here or should yeah. we, we should be... Remember in our earlier programs, we uh, drove with my Tesla over uh, some of these uh, steel plates. <laughs> it is very exciting. And, and they see are... how flat they become. Yeah. And so what I want to do is, I want to go through each building materials we yes. we went through. Yeah. Okay. On a scale from 1, one to, to 5 buildings. Buildings. How well did you think this went? Absolutely a fiver. A five. <laughs> I I can foresee how this program is going to do. Everything is a fiver. It's an absolutely fiver and uh, I'm so I'm super proud of uh, Anas that he could drive with his Tesla uh, only charging 205 times over the flat sheets check them out look at them they're super flat look and, at look at all the flat pieces I, I i drove in my tesla again and again over those to get it that, <laughs> that flat but i think to be to be 100 percent just to update you guys so yeah. so these the sheets that we're looking at is um two types of aluminum sheets and the trapeze shaped ones are direct reuse from an old uh, old building. Yeah. Uh, it's just been a, kind of a, a barn, uh, and it's been a, a storage building that's been Let's kind of disassembled. Let's go into the building while we're, while we're talking. So all these trapeze is barn. It's, it's an old barn. Yeah, and a storage storage yeah. building. Yeah. Uh, and what about the, the flat ones? They 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 were um, there was some sort of uh, waste material. Yes. All the, the flat sheets, and actually, if uh, our cinematographer comes over here, I learned it after only 26 programs. So you see it here, that they, they should have been uh, used to fabricate mailboxes. Yeah. And uh, because of water damage on aluminum sheets, they wanted just to remelt everything. So it was a waste product, 13 tons of aluminum, that we actually got for free. And then we started working with them. And you can actually see the water damage there. Yeah. Right? So the sheets has this porosity and has it's just, just a, a, the same monochrome surface. Okay. You say okay, you can can you see it? Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah. I'm and watching. and actually and actually I'm looking, I'm looking at the water damage on a total new building. And and that's that's both the beauty and the discussion of this type of architecture yeah. and aesthetics. Yeah. Are mistakes okay? And we come from a type of architecture where we have zero mistakes. I mean if there's just a a, a, a gray dot on yeah. a white wall, we paint the whole thing. I think that's an illusion within architects that there are no mistakes. Half of all buildings are mistakes. I'm just saying. Sorry. I was talking about surfaces. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. still and then talking you take about it to a, no, no, directly just, to my no, no, profession. No, no, no. I'm just taking, saying, just, I'm just, I'm saying, just that, saying that you are I'm saying, saying that I'm saying I'm that saying I'm not making mis any I'm mistakes. Saying, I'm, I'm saying I'm not saying, making I'm mistakes. Just saying, I'm just saying that I'm you are one big mistake. What I'm right trying now. to I'm, communicate I'm, is that your mistakes are good mistakes. So the beautiful mistakes over here. Yeah. 
that I really love yeah. is that the facades has holes in it where it used to be mounted and we kept them. We can see where the trapeze sheets overlap. They actually create a kind of a, a undeteriorated part of the sheet and that also becomes a rhythm in the facade. I think we should go around and see yeah. it in the sun as well. It looks beautiful, Anas. This is really, really good. So all the water damages are the, are the plamages or what you call yeah. On the, uh, yeah. on the... They look like small collages. But you didn't do anything to them? You no. didn't like... This. No. No, they, <laughs> they just cut out. So you either love it or you hate it. I think it's beautiful. And, and actually where we were standing on the corner over there. Look at this. When you stand here and you see uh, these... It's kind of like, um, you know, a traditional shingle. Yeah. in wood. Yeah. Here it's a shingle in, in aluminum yeah. and underneath it you can see that there's a wood piece so yeah. giving them this angle and these pieces are hanging I'm really bad with this helmet are hanging um, on a light uh, facade element yeah. and, uh, and that's one of the things if we have to rate here yeah. 1 on to 5 buildings. On, no, on a scale to 1 to 15 uh, light facades on light, on light facades. Then this rate. one gets absolutely 15 from tossing element. From, uh, from helping us to get like a light facade up. And what's also very visible here um, is, uh, I don't know if you noticed it. I, I uh, noticed it in earlier programs, but honest, uh, it's also very <laughs> visible, the, uh, the wooden beam in front of windows uh, aesthetic. Exactly, exactly. I like that you see that. So, Anas, if you would if you would rate that detail like architectural smooching, what would you rate that detail from one to uh, five hundred uh, in wood beams? On a scale, on a scale from uh, being able to see wood beams behind the window, I think this one is maxing out at five hundred. It's very visible. Wow, wow, that and is it's, impressive. It, it's a, a general, you know, a, a huge amount of uh, architect smooching to say, yes, let's put a beam in front of a window. Window someplace. That's real architect smooching right there. <laughs> I would, I've loved to have been a fly on the wall like, okay, what I imagine is that people all over the world will go by, glance at the window and say, hey, it's a wood building in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's it, what you imagine, right? Exactly. Ah, I know. Yes. That was exactly what happened. We, uh, we, uh, we ditched Anas, uh, and I don't want to show him this, but um, look at this. Look at this. Remember the episode with the kit? Most sustainable architecture in the world. Why did you put a giant, giant wood piece in front of the window? That Seems kind of stupid. I that is, that is, that is. Imagine that is, I'm being a kid. Oh, mommy. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't, you know, whatever, I can't get ever free. Most ridiculous host in, in the world is stuck in a beam. Ah. This, I wouldn't mind being stuck here. This is my new favorite spot in the building. What was there about the windows? Yes, so look at those windows. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the windows over there. On a scale, on a scale from from uh, one to one thousand uh, windows, uh, windows yeah. how 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 well did you think that turned out? I think that uh, it's at least it's it's not at the one thousand because it's only the bottom part and it's only the windows actually facing north. Okay. So I think it should have been if we only rate the windows, it's yeah. uh, it's a thousand. But here, it's only a seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred fifty because it's not the whole building. Yeah, and that's maybe even too high. I have, but, a, favorite, uh, I have a favorite window already. Let's go over and say hi to it. Anas, uh, yeah, uh, Tuf, look at that very, very small window at the, at the left corner. It's like, that's the tiniest window in the world. And I want to be able to open that window. How do you find a reused window that's that small? That's weird. On a scale, on a scale, on a scale from 1 to 50 for smallest window in the world, I, I might, 
how did you find that smaller window? Why, where did that window get reused from? But that's the point that that's the new window. Ah. Ah. So when you reuse windows, you can't change the geometry of the glass. Yeah. But then the small pieces are the new pieces that then allows us to reuse windows. Because then it fits. We can't change the geometry in the facade. Yeah. And we have some windows that has a, a defined geometry because it's uh, recycled or upcycled. And so the way of doing it is by having smaller windows that then ah. are newly produced. And the smaller they are, the less new you use and the more reuse you use. Okay, so all the big ones are reused and all the small ones. Exactly. I need to say seriously, the small window up there, that's my favorite window in the world. I will rate that a million windows from one to a million. It's a one million. But then, honestly, one it, million. I, I really like that. One million. This is really beautiful. This is really, really. But it is, it is, it is really cool. I, and I think the interesting thing is, like, look at the other windows here, and and they are beautiful too. Yeah. But it's it's a it's a type of aesthetics we've had for many many yeah, yeah. decades of modernism, where no mullions, more glass. Less, ma less material, high complexity. Yeah. When something like this breaks, you have to change like two, uh, two square meters of glass or yeah. even more. Here, you have smaller windows, you have a totally different aesthetics. And when you are inside, yeah. also the, the shadows coming in through the million, millions. And you also feel safe. Almost, you also feel more safe. It's like yeah. that feeling. It's really good. Okay, let's go. So, we have tons of material. And, and to a go thing, for. Anas, Anas okay. one thing. You're way too fast. Try and feel it. Yeah, I did just did. It's warm. Yeah. It's really nice wood. It's not recycled wood though. But in most of these buildings. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I took your spotlight, obviously. Story of my life. Most of these facades are made of aluminum, called curtain wall facades. Yeah. Aluminum framing, and here everything is wood. Yeah. Also for the rest of the building, and that saves around 80% CO2. Just changing the the the, mullions, the the framing, the studs from aluminum to wood. Wow! Ah. Smell it. Smell the building. Ah. Smell the building. Ah. This is good. This is all the leftovers, right? Yeah, this is this is leftover uh, Junkers wood floors. Yeah. And here you can see on a, on a, on a scale. From you can see how short they are. Yeah. Right. So, no, normally the, they are super long. Super long. So this is all the waste and cutoffs and uh, and and. But it looks so beautiful. So on so, a, on a scale, Anna, from one to ten. This is the, we did a whole program, program on acoustic. Yeah. How is it going with the acoustic? It's going, it's going really good. We, we, had, we had a problem. Okay. Now we're entering dangerous, we, we're honest we, stuff. We've had a problem. And, uh, and I think uh, Easter holidays were really bad for some people here. Because um, the way that sometimes, the way you read a drawing and the way you build <laughs> can be two different things and uh, a signature for one thing could be misunderstood so what you saw see up here is uh, these wood um, uh, lamellas or wood pieces um, which is kind of the back of where you mount these on so yeah. we, we kind of uh, mount them and screw them into this uh, ribbon structure the problem was that in the fire regulation and our fire plan we hadn't talked about if they were wood or not. Ah. And a thing like that all of a sudden sets Everything like the on world fire. on fire. No, hopefully not. But then everybody got nervous. And that's where everybody had to figure out, recalculate how much percentage of wood there was in the spaces for us to be allowed. We, have to have, we can have 20%. And we were below. OK, great. So. But that was that was a scary part because there is, these are up everywhere as you can not here but they're coming okay so honest look at this 
This is from, again, the company we are visiting. Yes. And, and it says here, we are saving 135 uh, bottles. bottles per square meter. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Honestly, it's, al it's also cool that it's on the outside of the delivery. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay, but I just wanted to show you something over here where I'm really disappointed. Oh, I, I need some honesty. Because right now we've been uh, we've been rating the building quite quite generously. Yeah. yeah. This one is a zero. Oh shit. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Fuck that steel. We thing. are making. I know it's a wood hybrid building, yeah. so we do have some concrete in the course where we have fire staircases. Yeah. But this one, this one slipped through my uh, fingers. Um, somehow in the, the late meetings, yeah. these missing floors are built in steel. But weren't, we have seen it in wood also, right? We, one of the other buildings was in wood. Wasn't it in wood yeah. over there? Yeah, but it, the, support, the support wasn't put in. And for some goddamn reason, yeah. I'm sorry, this happened. And that's when you're not on the ball all the time because it, it, there's no, re like, look at this. These are carrying, this is wood, right? 40 by 40, uh, yeah. glue yeah. lamp. Yeah. They're carrying the whole building. Yeah. And then we have to carry just a missing in floor and we put steel in. Okay, sorry. So oh, now you're, in, now no, you're no, super I, impossible. I, no, no, it's just my timing get, went off. And this is actually quite a big point. I have a, I, know, I just want to rate something. Okay. Because we discussed in this building that you didn't put in a parking floor. Yeah. Yeah, so in the middle of these recordings, I need to go down, reset my parking, uh, what is it called, parkometer, because there's no fucking way to park around this building. It's because nobody fucking comes in a car. Go change your diaper. I'm just saying, I'm rating, I'm rating. I know it's a CO2, how, how I know up? it's a CO2 how thing. Up? Hold my plan, I need to go set. Yeah. So this idiot didn't build a parking cellar. And actually, um, Anas, he's, he's, you think he's super sustainable. He has this uh, Mercedes, a 300 uh, diesel. I think it's from the 90s or something like that. Um, yeah, so it's not, it's, it's polluting a lot. He calls it the Tesla.